Hello, and today we're going to get onto some PHP logic in our PHP for de designer series. As you guys know, I, I don't claim to be a PHP guru, but what I want to do in these tutorials is just show you the stuff that you, you'll come across regularly and that I've come across certainly to help you know some basic PHP stuff. So, you've just learnt the foundation concepts. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna get into some advanced, uh, or not really advanced, but still pretty basic. Some conditional logic in PHP, and we're gonna make it so that um, so some conditions have to be met, and then some code executes. So I'm just gonna dive in and um show you what this is. Some of this. You won't understand that, I'll just kind of write it and then you'll... And then I'll explain it. We've got... As part of our example, this isn't part of the tutorial, what we need we need something to test if the condition is is true before we can actually do anything. Um, so, we've got a current day variable, um, which is equal to the result of the date function and um and uh, um this little d here means that it only only shows the first the the characters of the day of the month. So as we go into this you'll see what gets so that's our operator we're gonna be testing whether a certain day is met and if it is what we're going to do and if it's not what we're going to do so now we're going to get onto the end part of this tutorial the if else statements we might just cover the if in this tutorial we might go on to the else I don't know so we're going to just start by writing if pretty simple and it's built into PHP now we're going to do some brackets. Now, for this, you don't need a um, a variable. I could um, just write whatever I wanted in here, but I find it easier to do a variable. It's important to note, though, that I c could just do... Um, I could just test for the function right in the if statement. But I find it easier to abstract what you're doing into a variable because then it just makes it cleaner. So I'm going to enter if the current day, which is equal to that date that we wanted. And then right after that variable, but um, we're we're in we're still in these brackets. So we're saying if the current day, i.e. that data, and then we need to say still within the brackets what conditions we need to be met. So in PHP, two equal signs stands for exactly equal to. There's no leeway; it has to be exactly equal to. And then we have to um set a number or a, a word that we we want to test if this variable is exactly equal to so in this case it's seventh so for the first one i want it to be true so i'm going to say if the server returns back into this variable if it returns 07 then i want you to do something so outside of this thing now because we've We've told it all our conditions. They go inside the brackets, and then we have curly brackets like you do in CSS. And then inside these brackets, um, we tell it what to do if those conditions are met. So, um, I need what code to execute if those conditions are met. So, I'm just gonna say echo 
and you can write any PHP here. You can write HTML in here, but I'm just gonna say echo. Yeah. So let's look at what we're expecting real quick. We're expecting it to say yeah on the screen because this this statement will be true. So the if statement, the code in the if part should trigger. And we've got the word yeah. So and if we look on my calendar, it's the Tuesday, the seventh of July today. So this, that code executed. So the server correctly returned. Yeah. Now, so that might sound but bare bones now. But you could execute any code in there based on any conditions. Now let's um, make this so it's not true. Let's say if it's exactly equal to the 24 for instance, uh, again you could do whatever you wanted there, depending on what you want to do. And then if we save that, so we've changed the conditions, so the condition that has been met is no longer that the date function returns a seventh is that the date function returns a value of twenty four, i.e. the twenty fourth day of the month. Um let's see what we're expecting this time. We're not expecting that code in the if statement to trigger because it's no longer the twenty it's not the twenty fourth of the month. And we just change the goalpost the date that's being returned doesn't change, it's still the 7th of July, but we've asked it to only return that code if if the string that is returned is equal to 24. So PHP has um, worked best. The last thing we're going to move on to this tutorial is because it's kind of one and the same as conditional logic. Um, will be else statement. So when say if if that if that if that is not true then do something. Don't just leave our users out in the cold. So right after we end this thing but before we end right after we end our statement but before we put our semicolon we we're just, we're just going to say else and then by doing it before the end semicolon and it's that it knows it's not part of the same function but it, it knows that it has to portray to the same thing so what what in in other words what we're saying there is if it's not true then do this So if it's not true, we want it to echo. Not so fast. So if it's true, it's going to echo yeah and if it's false it's gonna echo not so fast but the date that's being returned will be the seventh because that's the date when this video is being recorded so the not so fast should execute let's see what happens shall we and a big fat nothing executed. Um, let's just see what we wrote wrong. Well. 
there, there we go. So, not so far. So, I, I just heard a little punctuation error. But then, if we change the operator or the con control, as they call it in scientific experiment, back to the one that's true. So, if it's exactly equal to the seventh, which is the true day, then we're expecting the yeah echo statement to execute. So let's then we get yeah. So that was that was pretty simple and I was probably driving at home too much there, but that's if and else statements, simple logic and PHP. Thanks for watching.